Yes, my people, it's Cecil G from AFTV, and you're watching Eddie Vision TV. Love. <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Edivision TV. So the squad is out for the World Cup qualifying games versus Dam Rep at home and Dominica away. And I know fans have been asking where's the squad, where's the squad, where's the squad. Now you have it. So be careful what you wish for. A lot of persons not liking this squad. You know, people saying a joke squad is an answer. But we have the squad and um, happy for the players that decided to take the call but before we continue the promo code people 10% off all tickets for the game on June 6 so go to the JFF website get the tickets and use my promo code Edivision TV for 10% off get the tickets now in terms of the squad for me it's as good as it is going to get kudos to coach Agrimson. working miracles with this squad you know i look at things differently people will be just looking at the squad and say what kind of squad is this but what is the reason for this squad what are the underlying factors I will be giving you guys those very shortly but before let's look at the squad for those that are not aware of the squad so the reggae boy squad goalkeepers Shaquan Davis Jaden Hibbert Connor Boyce Clark Jamal Waite defenders Dexter Lembikisa Deshaun Bernard Greg Lee Damon Lowe Michael Hector Richard King, Tavon Gray, and John Bell. The mids, Casey Palmer, Karai Anderson, Bobby Reed, Daniel Johnson, Alex Marshall, Adrian Reed, Jr., and Kevin Lambert. The forwards, Shamar Nicholson, Ronaldo Cephas, Mikel Antonio, Deshane Bernard, Kaim Dixon, Corey Burr, and Devante Campbell. Now, obviously, players are missing from this list. So, the injury list Damari Gray, Broken Collarbone, Amari Bell, ACL, Joel Atibodi, Calf Strain, Ethan Pinnock, Ankle Injury, Andre Blake, Meniscus Surgery, Dujan Richards. Injury, Leon Bailey unavailable. So, with these players being injured and players making themselves unavailable, we have what we have with this squad. Six players playing locally, six JPL players in the squad, and four goalkeepers. You know what I mean? That's something you don't say. I've never seen a, a squad name with four goalkeepers. So, when you got four goalkeepers, that simply means you're making up numbers here. You're, you're trying as best to, to full out the squad. That's the way it looks to me. And that is why I said kudos to Coach Al Grimson for working some magic with his squad. And um, when have we seen a squad name, apart from it being a local squad with so many JPL players? The most we'll see is one or two. You know, Demario Phillips, normally that player. That is in the team from JPL. But to name six players, you see that something is wrong there. Yes, there are players injured, but as it relates to why the squad is, is made up this way, players making themselves unavailable. I.e. Omari Hutchinson. You know, I'm certain that Coach Algrimson would reach out to Omar Hutchinson 
to play in these two World Cup qualifiers. But you know the regular excuse. You know, I'm looking to sort out my club career. I'm looking to find a club and get some stability with a team. What about a Jamal Lowe? You know, he might say, look, I need more rest coming off a long season. And I'm not ready to come and play now. So the rest argument, which is, I think is a non-argument, I'm certain it has been used many, many times. And this time is no, no different. So players wanted more time to rest, you know, coming off that, coming off their season. And also, you have to look at the cost. The cost to get these players in from Europe. So the JFF is pretty much saying we wanted these top players from Europe. If they are unavailable or injured, let us do the next best thing. The next best thing is not to get lower quality players that are playing in, in Europe. The next best thing is to get MLS, USL, and JPL players. That is much cheaper. So when the top players are injured, when they make themselves unavailable, the JFF will go for players that they are sure about. They are sure that the JPL players will join the camp. They are sure that the USL and the MLS players will join up with the camp. That's for certain. So with that said, I think that Coach Algemson's hands were tied and he had to get the players that were easier to get. The players that are committed enough. Yes, I use that word, the players that are committed enough and want to represent the reggae boys. Can this squad get six points against Damrep and Damanica? That is a question. And if we get those six points, no problem. And I believe we can get the six points. And I know persons will be saying we need our best team every time, for every game. Other, other countries can do that. But I think it's, it's different with, with Jamaica. It should be different, but it's different. And um, that's something that we need to work. We need to work on. Paul Charles spoke about that on the radio and um, sports explosion. The environment is much different when the players come here. Players are not being paid. You know what I mean? There are many factors that Leon spoke on them. And, you know, other players might, might share similar um, thoughts, but they will not come out and say it. But what they would do is say, you know, you know, time it this one. You know, engagement, very, 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 I'm tired, coming off of injury, I need more time to rest, very, very, very. That's their excuse. So at the end of the day, the, the Federation, you know, and also the facilities, the pitches need to improve. You know, we need to reach that professional level so that when the call up players, they don't hesitate. The English squad, look at the English squad. All the top guns are there for every game. They could be playing against Luxembourg. They could be playing against San Marino. Everybody shows up. It could be a friendly against Monsterat. The players are there. The top players are there. So what say you fans? Can we still get maximum points with this squad? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that Coach Charles Grimson is doing his best? Let me also know in the comment section below. I'm Eddie Guna. Thanks for watching. Always remember to like, share and subscribe.